Many older Macs were designed with disk drives that use spinning plates to write and read information. But even if your older Mac is running just fine, why would you rely on spinning plates for speed? Mechanical parts are just a recipe for disaster. But thankfully, our SSD upgrade kits can give your laptop a boost, and today we're gonna show you how to set up your new drive after you install it. Solid state drives use chips to store information, eliminating the need for moving parts. We tested it and found that they were 10 times faster than traditional spinning hard drives. The kits come with the SSD drive and includes all the tools you need to complete your repair. Before you get started, if your computer was released in 2010 or after, you may need to update to the latest version of macOS to enable internet recovery before starting the upgrade process. If you need help installing your drive, check out our guides on ifixit.com. The process of upgrading is super simple for most machines and requires little more than removing a few screws and setting up your new hard drive. We've got a link in the description below. Once you've installed your new drive using one of our upgrade kits, we'll reinstall macOS and then copy data to your new drive. Start by completely shutting down your machine. Then press the power button, then immediately press and hold the command, option, and R keys. A spinning globe animation should appear and you can release the keys. The globe will continue to spin while internet recovery starts up. If you're not using a wired internet connection, a choose network box will appear. You can select the Wi-Fi network from the menu. Once a network connection is established, a progress bar will show up below the spinning globe. After internet recovery has loaded, the Mac OS recovery screen should pop up. Before you install Mac OS to the new drive, you'll need to format the drive so the installer can recognize it. Go ahead and open Disk Utility from the recovery menu. Select your drive and click the Erase button towards the top of the Disk Utility window. Make sure you select your new drive for this step. Erasing your old drive will delete all your data. If you can't see your drive on the Disk Utility menu, click Show All Devices from the View section on the menu bar. Make up a name for your drive and make sure that the format is set to Mac OS Extended Journaled or APFS. After your new drive has been formatted, press Command Q to exit Disk Utility and you'll return to the recovery menu. Once you're at the recovery menu, click on Install Mac OS, and then follow the prompts to install Mac OS, choosing your newly formatted disk as the target for the installation. Now you're halfway there. All that's left to do is to migrate all your info to your new SSD. If you forgot to make a backup of your old hard drive before upgrading, you can install it into an external enclosure to transfer any data you need. After you've inserted the drive into the enclosure, go ahead and connect it to your machine. Then open up the Migration Assistant app. After the Migration Assistant window opens, do not press continue until you're ready to begin the migration process. Pushing continue will automatically force close any open applications and log you out. After you're logged out, you'll be taken to the Migration Assistant screen. Select the first option, which is transfer from a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk. Then select Continue and Migration Assistant will list any connected Mac OS or Time Machine backups. Choose the drive you wish to restore from and select Continue again. If the drive you selected is a Time Machine drive, Migration Assistant will list all the backups available from which you can transfer information. Next, select the backup you'd like to transfer information from and click Continue. Choose all the items you'd like to transfer to your new drive. You may be prompted to enter a new password for the account on the drive or the old password for your account on the old drive. As the transfer begins, you'll notice a loading bar appear and it will cycle through all your selections. After all this, your machine might need to restart more than once during the transfer process. Once all this is said and done, a migration complete window will appear and that's it. If you've got a newer machine that uses PCIe style SSD, we've got SSD upgrades and enclosures for you too. They're perfect if you need to increase your storage or replace a dead or dying drive. So if your machine is acting super slow and you're ready for the upgrade, head on over to our ID Your Mac page on ifixit.com, identify your machine, then grab the SSD upgrade kit for your model. We've got a kit for MacBooks and MacBook Pros, kits for Mac Minis, and even a couple for iMacs. And to put the cherry on top, we've also got tons of hard drive replacement guides on our site. Happy upgrading, and most of all, happy fixing.